court heard they're hopeful she'll receive a lenient sentence. For years, so Victoria Police have battled the choice to try to keep the about Gobbo's immigration. Justice is what guides uh, all humans, is what guides uh, all humanity. If there's no justice, uh, then this world will be chaos. So my idea of justice is, is peace, uh, having fairness and equality. I guess in a sense it's some kind of order, um, so that no harm or wrongdoings are done to others. The knowledge of justice that I have back home and here is a huge difference. What I knew of justice very much influenced by where I, where I came from. Just feeling that freedom, feeling that um, like your voice are heard and stuff like that, that's how I feel um, just the system is big, very different here. To me justice is it's like a system that's put in place to make sure that everyone's treated fairly, just to make sure that everyone coexists peacefully. I don't really know what justice is. A lot of us haven't really experienced justice because we spend most of our lives running away from wars and authorities. Communities uh, that arrive in Australia from overseas come to the country with all different ideas around justice. Um, every culture has a different understanding of justice. And so the program is about stepping through Australia's form of justice um, so that the communities who have arrived can uh, see how justice forms here and then they can learn to trust it from the perspective of here um, rather than applying the thoughts from justice from where they've come. We visit many places which is including you know, parliament, police stations, the court system um, and many others and it gives the opportunity for the participants to to learn about those places in situ and to meet with people and ask real life questions. So the three branches of government as it relates to justice is the legislative, the executive and the judiciary. We started with parliament because it, was, it is the first branch of government and they make the laws within a Westminster system. So the participants going along and seeing how laws are made uh, especially uh, laws that relate to justice, that's so important um, because that's where it all starts. And it also gives them the opportunity to advocate for laws that they want that relate to justice. So starting with Parliament was the obvious choice. We create laws uh, through our Parliament and the Government of the day gets the opportunity to debate those laws in the Parliament and see if they can bring those laws to reality. Having culturally and linguistically diverse uh, members of our community uh, represented in our parliament is vitally important, um, just as it is in our communities. Um, that's why, of course, in Wyndham, we've got 180 different languages and dialects on display. Something we should all be proud of, because what it tells us is that this is a country that relishes diversity. Basically, what I understand of Parliament, it's, it's, it's a group coming together, uh, talking about laws, talking about what needs to be done for the community and for the country. Uh, but in the place where I come from, an average person like myself can't go and attend uh, the parliamentary session. So it, it, it says that uh, Australia, uh, there's a sense of democracy where the citizens have the right uh, to be present when things are being decided upon. Most importantly, it, it, it gives us the opportunity uh, to know that, um, that, that the government, the legislature is here to govern under common rule for common people, uh, regardless of uh, where you're from, regardless of um, uh, what your culture represents. It's, uh, it's understanding that there uh, are members of the community, particularly members of the community from uh, culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds, that they will have some fear of the process before the courts. Um, they should not have that fear. What I found today uh, that my knowledge has increased. I have come to real practical thing here and found that 
uh, it was quite a good interaction with the magistrate Byrne, who, who gave us a very good information about the, how the justice is done and how he has come up as a, after serving in police and then he was in uh, he was barrister for 13 years and then we, we became a uh, magistrate here. Uh, I think my community uh, still need more education about the court system in Australia. Uh, people don't know that there is a support system that is uh, in, was in the court and today I, I have the chance to uh, to meet those people that I, I can refer clients or some of the members of my community that there is there is uh, there's a legal aid uh, there is uh, a, a court connect uh, system that is here that can show you around where to go uh, these are some information that you don't know when you come to court by yourself today's uh, visit to this magistrate court I came across so many people who are helping the domestic violence people I can spread up in this my community that people should come out if they have got a problem, they can come out and uh, talk to somebody in the court there before going to a, uh, making an, uh, just to make an application and discuss with the person before and before going to the magistrate or going to the next stage. I've never been stopped by police or anything in this country, lived for about 24 years. I get scared walking past, even if I'm walking, if I see a police car, I go like, oh, police, like, I will have this reaction. And then, like, today, um, I really gained a lot of experience and um, still deep down I have that fear, but what happened is just an amazing thing in which I can't wait to share it with community. Yeah. The participants do come from various cultural backgrounds and because of that they'd have quite a diverse range of experience and interpretation of what the laws and, and the, the way the police operate in, from those backgrounds. This program is very important because we want to relay to them exactly what the police represent here in Victoria, what the criminal justice system represents here in Victoria, and give them a clear understanding of the guidelines and the way in which it works so that it helps them in their day-to-day -day living and it will help their communities when they take this newfound knowledge back to those communities. I was fortunate to enter the police station with the Wyndham Citizenship Group and I found it uh, so impressive. The things were so systematic and everything was uh, so great. But uh, the knowledge which I got by going inside and watching the everything there, including the police car, highway patrol cars and all this, and uh, I thought they are doing an incredible work. I think the media has created a, a bad image. Uh, for everyone, uh, for the police and the community as well, that that we have to be scared of each other. Uh, and I think having visited the police headquarters and chatting with the entire force uh, gave me a sense of comfort in a way that I can approach the police officer and talk to them uh, as someone that, as, an, as a normal person. Uh, I think it's something that if I was to talk in my community, uh, I would, I would encourage people to talk to the police officers when they see something. Uh, they should not feel afraid if they go to a police officer, then uh, someone's going to follow them or, or they have committed a crime. So I think we need to interact more with the, with the police, uh, police community or police force. And the police uh, force as well need to interact more with the community to bring that sense of togetherness. Uh, the police are not just uh, different people, these are, just, these are human as well. An understanding of the justice system, an understanding of our legal rights and responsibilities is really integral to successful resettlement. You can't successfully resettle in Australia without engaging with Australian law. So I think it's really important that we break down the idea that um, the law is about police and courts and that's all it is, it's really about everyday life. The biggest things I've learned from the night of West Justice was the case study that have been provided to us and that illustrates to me of how disadvantaged reasons arrival has when it comes to finding a lawyers within our community. The sessions helped me to where I can understand my rights in Australia and how to find lawyers if I have any issues or anything. In the current community, we, because we're new to the country and 
everything is new to us. And sometimes we, we did things not deliberately and we got ourselves into trouble with the law. And then having this knowledge is really important because it educates people to do the right thing as well. You know, not just when I am in trouble, I go and seek help, but knowing your rights and the rights of others, it's actually prevent you from doing the wrong thing as well. Some of the communities that we work with here in Wyndham come from authoritarian regimes where the police, the military and the government are all pretty much the same thing. Um, so it's really important that people understand that in Australia we have separation of powers, the government doesn't have the right to decide who's committed a crime or who's guilty and who isn't, and that the military plays no role in our criminal justice system. After going through this program, I, I always do compare it with where I'm from. So, you know, when I think about that, just the system here is really, really amazing. Has it changed the way I think about justice? I think it educated me about justice system because I had very little knowledge about the system as a whole. So the Department of Justice, everybody probably knows us best for prisons, but actually we're much more than that. The Department of Justice has services uh, that can support um, you paying your outstanding fines and warrants, that can provide you with consumer affairs support. You can get birth certificates, death certificates, uh, and marriage certificates from the Department of Justice. We have justice service centres that you can walk into and find financial counselling support, uh, access to victim support agencies, tenancy support, um, something for everyone, really. So I had no idea how the Justice Department works prior to coming here. Even when we parked up out here, I thought it was just a place where they do community work. There is so much um, in the department, they offer so much to community that community don't actually know about. The childcare service might not have the right languages for the right area. So we might work with them on getting information put out in languages that are connected to that community. It's the, from the very smallest to the largest of issues. Um, so the Human Rights Commission, you know, they have, um, like they test things in courts around human rights. Yeah. All right. So they come into our prisons and they say they make sure that we're treating people in prisons with dignity and respect. For the people that we've been talking to today, I think it's important to understand conceptually what justice means in Australia and in Victoria, because it actually may mean something very different to what it means for the countries that they have originated from. And um, as the conversation went today, many of them talked about a distrust uh, in justice systems and you know if I do my job well then they have a view that they can trust our justice system and it's actually there to work in their interest to support them. So having this information is powerful because you know that there are helps out there and people generally like I've learned that today people don't want you to go to jail you know um, there are other programs where you can go and get help and, you know, and then um, continue to enjoy your life. I was expecting prison is like a disaster place, um, like a really terrible place. Uh, but what I saw today is completely different. Hearing everything at the presentation uh, that human, are, even though they're in prison, they are treated like a you know, um, human being, um, which is very big different from, from where I'm from and also from what I thought, you know, um, even here in Australia, because I thought prisons are prisons. But what I've learned today was a, like an eye opening, really, yeah. I learned a, a lot today. There was a big focus on rehabilitation. So there are a lot of system programs in place to support the, the person who is incarcerated. Um, prepare them when they go out, they'll be able to live a normal life. I have visited few prisons 
in some of the countries and nothing impressed me so much as what I've seen today. The kind of values that it's being uh, shown in this prison here, it's very much in line with morality, it's very much in line with humanity that, that brings out the best of people and not the worst. Yeah, absolutely. Because when you know and understand more about how a system works and you seeing and hearing from the people who work in the system how the system is there to design to help the people and to help the community, you feel more confident. For me, I do trust the justice system in Australia because of what I've learned through this program. Give me a knowledge of where I can help myself and also help others. So as someone that works with youth and families and parents, um, today has been a really eye-opener for me. It might just be that community is not aware of the youth services that are available or that the youth services are not aware of how to get in contact with community or how to promote their programs to community. So that they can learn about what we do and how we can help the community members and young people as well and, and bridge that gap, you know, to bring it closer in terms of understanding young people from different backgrounds leadership skills, a bit of personal development and then we do like sales skill, interview skills. So once you've completed that program you're feeling really well equipped to enter the workforce. Something that I know about Youth Centre is just, you know, coming here and having fun with my peers and, you know, sometimes playing games in this space. For today, I actually learned a lot of stuff that I've never had before. and. Now I've gained knowledge of how to access different services if, for example, if I need help and also inform other young kids who are out there, like, you know, they need any help, I can tell them. Being people that work at grassroots levels um, and are in direct contact with community, um, I think today has been really, really beneficial to, to me specifically because like I said, I could refer a lot of different youth that I know that may be facing different issues to these organisations, knowing that they will be looked after and that their um, needs will be met. I think the media is a bridge between the justice system and the community. Um, we're able to explain uh, what's happening in our courts, what's happening on our streets uh, in an accurate, fair, honest way. Uh, and then enable that feedback from the community as well um, to find out how they're feeling and what issues we should be exploring even more. We take into a lot of consideration our coverage and make sure it's as fair and as balanced as possible and there's always that fear of creating um, unnecessary concern but I don't believe as, as the media, um, or especially here at The Age, that we're creating that. I, I think that um, we're addressing uh, Well, before coming here, I, I had a different perception about what the media is all about. Coming from South Sudanese community, uh, I feel like uh, we have been mis re misinterpreted in the media and fairly treated. A lot of journalists still uh, use background a lot in their reporting, and although they might not have that uh, negativity behind it, uh, the, dam the damage already has been done. And having the opportunity today to speak with the, the crime reporters, I, I, I have a better understanding of. Uh, uh, how the media sort of work, how the journalists sort of report, uh, and it's up to me to uh, to ed educate those that I know in my network or in my community. Uh, you know how how why journalists report certain things. You feel powerless when you hear negative stories about your community or certain communities. They might not be about my community, but they might be about my friends' community. So one of the things I've learnt today is that 
the reporters are open to speaking with community. One of the suggestions was that they make contact with a community leader and the leaders will introduce them to key people within the community. Uh, so I think it would be recommendable for uh, for those who just uh, arrive in Australia to kind of give them an overview of, uh, of what Australia is made of, of. Our community leaders would be great if they um, did the program like this because they have access to the community, they're doing work, a lot more work in the grassroots um, and have direct access and contact with people that the justice system is there for to help.